Welcome guys to another SAO Integra Factor video and here we go with a video showcasing the skills of the War of Underworld Order. Now if I do go into my equipment section will you be able to see that the following, well the skill record section you will be able to see the following skills. So first of all we do have the ability Warrior of Goddess Lifa which is already awakened and her, she's basically a very good rush skill as she gives 250 attack if you can limit break her that that will be 250 and you get a recover max of 1.3 HP per 3 seconds her recollection skill level owns max HP 4% recovery when going into rush so that's es essentially pretty good I'm not gonna lie it's a very HP like skill since Leafa is kind of like the goddess of earth in that sense and I would say I'll definitely recommend if you guys are summoning on the war of fund well underworld order to aim for this ability if you guys are able to get them on step one to step three onto step three that would be very good now onto the skip sword skills or archer or rapier skills we do have the the following we do have the sinon which is champion of skies T two great things about her is that she has 900 damage to all foes on the range of that attack she also is able to enhance slash buff attack per tw for 12% for 20 seconds and her recollection during rush gives a critical rate of 1.4%. In, in other words, she is pretty good for archers, especially for uh, AoE as well as clearing up the mobs for certain stages. We also do have the Night Sky Swordman Kirito here, which does, I've been broken quite a little bit of this this since I since it has a lot of uh, damage involved it almost has a thousand two hundred damage for a single foe mainly this is going to be targeted for bosses which is pretty good uh, it has a blaze buff of attack plus 20 per stack so it's you're able to stack it three times during 20 seconds uh, there's a small debuff when the target is hit using the switch the next attack the enemy receives will induce 1.5 times the damage uh, it also applies to other party members' attacks. Effect will disappear after 10 seconds if it's not activated. And bonus, so damage plus 30% to enemies when using a non-elemental skill. This is a non-elemental skill. Well, it does have an element, but yeah. You, you, if you use a non-elemental skill, it will have a 30% boost towards enemies. And during rush, the critical damage is, is plus 1.5%. Now, let's look at these skills, shall we? This is Kirito's skill, alright? The 26 with a bright, bright, um, sparkly effect. So here we go. So it, it goes, charges up the skill, and then throws kind of a tornado type of attack, which is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, aesthetically pleasing, and very nice animation in, in comparison to other skills, which are mainly more sword, sword usage. This is just a kind of a vorpal strike, but at the same time it launches uh, it launches a tornado type, so it's so it's kind of like a finishing move in a sense. So here we go. We charge the skill and it slashes the tornado. If we do ch change classes, we're going to be changing into bow, and I'm going to be showing you Sinon's skill. So this one is going to be more aimed towards mobs. So if you go, she does her <laughs> opening of War of Underworld. War of Underworld attack which is absolutely great and I love the animation that they use for that skill it's amazing and I quite love it so here we go and boom hit down amazing. we also gonna be using the rush skill to show off the skills as well so we're gonna wait critical damage up as you guys can, as you guys can see that's pretty good we're gonna be hitting with that and it goes boom the animation looks quite clean very similar to the anime 100% worth it if you guys are a fan of the anime and are a fan of Sinon as well. Here we go again. Boom. It looks quite good, among a lot. We are going to be changing on to the Warper Strike, and you guys can see the damage here. I'm not that, I'm not like a pro. It's giving me attack up, obviously, and you guys can check it out. Boom. Essentially, that that sword, black swordsman Kirito is a thousand and eighty percent damage, so it's not as high as the other one for sure. If you use that, you'll be able to see that there's it did not hit. But you know, not all skills hit when you're trying to showcase a skill. 
Alright, so if we wait up a little bit more, you guys are able to see that he charges up. And it gives the attack up for a couple seconds for sure. But there you go guys, I I love the animations. I would say it's definitely a worthy banner for beginners especially that are, are just getting into the game. And also for mainly for the Kirito one, mainly for bosses if you guys are looking into getting an overpowered type of skill. But anyways guys, let me know your, com your thoughts and comments below on these skills. They're ma I mainly use them a lot on on floor floor dungeons, floor bosses. First of all, sitting on clearing the mobs to make sure we get into the main boss dungeon, and then we are ready to use the Kirito skills. So then, if I press rush here, we're gonna be able to get the bonuses here, and we're gonna be using the Kirito skill to occasionally get damage up, and that's the Leafus skill, which which is giving us HP of 608. But anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like, let me know your thoughts on your comments below about these skills. For me, I definitely love them and they resemble a lot about the anime, for sure, especially that Sinon one. I wasn't able to pull the Asuna, but I would say, I would hopefully, hopefully its resemblance is quite similar to the animes. But anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, Bye bye